Good morning! What is up, Bean Grill? We are in the house! I've been trying to be more productive lately. I have been losing weight. Losing weight, good. I am down another pound. As of this morning, I am 450 pounds, exactly. Which means if I play my cards right, I will be in the 40s. And yes, I have been stagnant at that friggin' 61 to 58 area for so long and now I'm making progress consistently for about a week now. That's like about a pound a day. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really pumped about that. Really pumped to be back in action. Really pumped to be motivated again. I've been doing Duolingo. Dude, I did Duolingo today. Like, I was just like, I have a little bit of time before my doctor's appointment. I could whip out some Duolingo right now. Just rip it, just rip it, get it going. And what did I do? I did some Duolingo and I mastered it. I had every single question right. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I showered, I got ready. I said, oh. Oh yeah, check this out. I wanna show you something. I reorganized the basement, check this out. I've been watching American Dad. I got uh, the couch here, I got uh, my chairs here, everything's facing towards the TV, and I'm looking outside so I can see the trees and I feel more refreshed and it's sort of a brighter thing, and I just love it. Look. Puppy calendar, love it. And then I got all the stuff here, that's still there from last time, and I got a dopamine menu. There's this ADHD woman I love. She uh, talks about ADHD on, uh, on her, on her YouTube channel and she makes a lot of good points. She talked about dopa menus and dopa menus are this thing where you can write down all the different things you want to do in a day and it keeps you from being so distracted and just looking at your phone and scrolling all day. And I find that really helps. And you know, I got some stuff written down here, man. I got some stuff, you know? <sighs> oh, yeah. Edit my book. I've been writing a book and I'm in the editing process right now and I'm still really excited about it. It's a horror comedy and I just, I feel like it's really good and like as I'm editing it, it just gets better and better because like, I don't know, the stuff I did like that I didn't really like as I went through and now I'm getting better and it's getting longer too, you know? Like, uh, it didn't quite hit the word count I wanted by the time I was done writing, but now that I'm editing, I'm like, there's more things I could put in here to make it funnier or make it scarier and yeah, I'm just, I'm just really loving it. I love, I love the intro to the book where it's like, uh, not the intro, what is it? Like, it's uh, the prologue, the prologue, where we crew up, uh, where we queue up the character Virgo and, you know, her dad gets murdered. And that's not a spoiler, it's in the prologue. Uh, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> just love that. And yeah, I'm in the editing process for that. And I got Duolingo, I got harmonica. I've been practicing the harmonica. I freaking love it. You guys liked when I did the, uh, you guys liked it when I did the uh, little showing of it for you guys last time. So I'm gonna play a little bit more. You guys liked my beatbox harmonica, huh? <laughs> yeah! I've been doing all that. I'm learning stuff, I'm learning stuff, I love it. I love doing all this stuff and being like more out and about. Like I've been walking two kilometers a day. You guys know about that. You guys know I've been working, I've been working hard. Ooh. Yeah, boy, <laughs> Yeah, I've been working hard doing that and I've been running, I ran on the elliptical the other day, did 30 minutes, liggity split, no problem. And yeah, I saw my friend Alex there. It was good to see him and yeah, yeah. He's been doing, he's been doing so, so freaking good. I've been mean, loving getting out more. Dude, dude, I've just been having having the best time ever since I've been making progress again. Yeah, I think something that's been a real boon to what I've been doing, you know, the whole weight loss thing, is I've been having more calorie, low calorie alternatives in the house, and that's been a really, really great thing. I just have things I can grab and go. Like, I, you know, for a while that I've been doing the uh, meal prep thing, you know, the boiled eggs and the toast and just like, butter and uh, salt and pepper, my egg sandwiches in the morning, breakfast, and you know, that's good, that's solid. That's like 400, 500 calories every morning, then that's consistent. But you know, I have other things now. I have other things that I've been doing, putting it, you know, uh, sort of a meal prep kind of deal, you know, where I can have a, a consistent breakfast, a consistent lunch. You know, I'm still doing the half suppers with like what grandma and Lana are cooking, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been good, that's been good, that's been great. I've been doing just such, a, just such great progress. I've been, you know, every morning I get up and I get on the scale and I'm like, this is the best part of my day. Like, I almost want to just go to sleep and wake up the next day just to keep weighing myself every morning. You know, it's like, but that's not how time works. I can't sleep that much. But also, if I did sleep that much, you know, I'd probably lose weight because I wasn't eating during sleeping, you know? <laughs> but then I'd be in a coma. That's what a coma is. Oh, man. I, just, I, I do love the basement. Like, I wanna show you. I wanna show you, like, real in-depth, like, what what I got going on down here, you know? Like, 
the TV is facing that way. And you know, you you look out here at the trees, and I got I got a decent view. You know, it's a pretty good view. You know, I got this this green thing here, but then yeah, you can see the trees. And like uh, this is the view from my uh, you know the seat that I like to sit in. You can see uh, over here is my <laughs> NVCC food certification. Oh yeah. And over here, my silver play button, and we got <laughs> bold and brash. Oh man! And I took down the family photos. I uh, I wanted to set up, you know, my gym out here. You know, I don't really use any equipment, but like I uh, <laughs> I keep, you know, this carpet usually in that room there. But uh, and that's been sort of my home gym for the last few months, or last year, I guess. But. You know, I just figured I want to do workouts out here now. And I got my fan. I got this, like, high-powered, super-strong fan. And now I can look out the windows while I'm working out. And I can, you know, put on a TV show instead of having to listen to a podcast or a playlist. I got these. Signed. Signed thing from a race car, man. Inherited that from my grandfather. Uh, and then I got this picture of a clown being bitten by a dog. And this painting of my dog from a Native American lady. And then I got this. I just like this. I bought it at Walmart. And yeah, there's just a lot of great stuff down here. A lot, of, a lot of great stuff. Another thing is my hair. I've been loving doing my hair every morning. You know, I was consistently the kind of guy that did his hair every day. But then I realized I'm not leaving the house as much, you know, because I don't have like a particular like hard day job, you know, where I'm going to an office or a restaurant or something to do like eight hours of, you know, labor. I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a professional YouTube man. I, I, oh man, you know, I've been, I've been making crazy money on YouTube. It's wild. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, it's my job, man. It's my freaking job. But after I realized I wasn't going to work so much, I stopped doing my hair. But now I'm just realizing, you know, what's the point of doing your hair? You know, you do it for yourself. You do it so you feel like you look good. And I do, I do leave the house once in a while. I do leave it, you know, often enough, you know. So I, I just started doing it every day, even if I'm not going anywhere. I'll just put my hair up, and I, I feel like that you know, helped me psychologically. I've been thinking about taking maybe an online harmonica course to learn how to play harmonica faster. I don't know. I want to start like pretty quickly playing like uh, consistent songs. You know, I want to I want to play something that's like I don't know, written by someone else. Uh, you know, I'm very improvisational at this point. I can't really read the notes, but I can, like, get a vibe of, like, which note is where, and I can, like, produce a song. You know, it, it comes a lot from the skills that I previously have from being a, a singer and um, from being, you know, a, a beatboxer, you know. So I'm like, yeah, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. I got my own thing going on, and I can I can do that. I can do that on the harmonica, you know. But can I can I reproduce the sound once I make it once? And also, can I like if I heard someone play a song on the harmonica? I think I could rough it out. I think I I wouldn't be as good as like a real real good harmonica player, but I'm like I'm getting decent at it, and I'm I'm getting better at French too. You know, I've been learning French. For a while, you know, I I, um, I grew up in Canada, so we learned French in school. But you know, I uh, I wanna I wanna really speak it, you know. I wanna I wanna feel like a real Canadian. I'm a Canadian patriot. I love my country. I think we're doing a lot of great things. I think we got a lot of good stuff going on. We got free healthcare. We got uh, you know legal weed. You know, we got lots lots of good stuff going on. And you know, Toronto's great. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I just think, I just think we got we got some great stuff going on, and uh, I wanna I'm gonna feel like a real Canadian patriot. So I wanna learn I wanna learn how to speak French. Also, you can't run for politics if you don't speak French. That's like a legal thing we got going on. So if I learn French, I could be, I could be, I don't know, a cabinet minister. Is that it? Yeah, I could be someone in Parliament. That'd be pretty neat, I think, personally. Wouldn't it be fun to see me as a politician? What am I into? What side am I on, huh? Huh? Guess in the comments, am I a liberal or a conservative? Huh? Who am I? I don't know. I don't talk about politics on here, but I got opinions. I got secret opinions. You don't know. You don't know. None of them. <laughs>
But anyway, I just wanted you to know that I am doing good. People are saying that my double chin is going down. I'm getting a sharper jawline. I like that. I like those compliments. I got a compliment from a person in real life about that. So I like, I like that. My hair looks good. And I'm losing weight. And I'm doing good stuff. Yeah. So I'm just happy.